Now that you're doing these reaction videos to Australian hip hop, uh, mm. two parts to the question. A, how much exposure do you think you've given Australian rap in the UK through what you're doing? Mm -hmm. um, and B, how much impact do you think your opinions have uh, on swaying other people's opinions about an artist? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so both things, it ironically, is is two things I, I've I've wanted to address for a while, but it's kind of I don't like asking that question to myself, especially the first one of how much of an impact I've had. I've had more of an impact in the Australian scene than I have to anybody in the UK. Yes, I show people in the UK Australian stuff, and then they show their friends. Of course, word of mouth is a powerful thing. Mm. You know, you show three people, those three people show three, and now you've got nine. You see how quickly it grows. Um, but I'm not at a point where I can start drawing in a mass amount of UK followers to the Australian scene. Like, it's only a handful of people. If I look at the demographic of my content, funny enough, it's actually swaying more and more for the UK, which is which is a good thing in my opinion because I want to get more of a balance. I mean, early doors, it was like 95% Australia, like 3% UK. It's now around 78 or 79% Australia mm. and about 10% UK, which is good. We're starting to get more and more of a UK following, which is a good thing because now more and more of the UK are starting to follow the Australian scene. Mm. So it is growing. But I would definitely say I have more of an impact on the Australian scene than I do the UK following the Australian scene. I think that I have more of a sway and kind of leading into the part two of this. I say the impact that I have is swaying other people's opinions, which is something that ironically I don't want to do. I want people to form their own opinions. Now, I just understand it is what it is. When you are an influencer, when you are a figure on the internet, someone that somebody follows closely, you naturally get swayed by their opinions, especially if they are checking out, let's say, a, a song for the first time with me. I get that comment or get that 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 message quite often. I wait for you to upload before I check the song because I want to listen to the song with you. Especially when that happens, of course, there's that element of group thinking. This is what Chazza thinks, so this is what I also think to a certain extent. If somebody is unknowledgeable about something, I also think they look for somebody else's opinion to gain that knowledge, which is what mm -hmm. I talked about earlier on in this interview. You know, if you're watching something, I, I have a gain to I, I have a look to gain entertainment or knowledge. And so if people look to gain my perspective, because perspective is knowledge in my opinion, um, if they look to gain my perspective on a track, I can understand why. I, I, I can always understand. You know, that's why I put out my content, but I don't want to feel like what I say is final. I always say, and more so I only ever say it when I when I criticize a song or when I give that constructive criticism, this is just my opinion. But I'm starting to slowly realize, because I didn't realize it at first, I'm starting to realize how much people, how highly people, you know, hold my opinion, mm. how in high regard it's held. So um, I think that right now, I'm not looking to grab a whole bunch of UK people and put them onto Australia. If it's happening, fine. Nothing bad about that in any way, shape or form. But now's not the time to triple down on that. Right now, I'm tripling down on growing that Aussie fan base. Mm. Um, I am enjoying growing more of a UK fan base as well because it's good, but I want that to keep growing. I mean, my, I, my ideal world would have a 50-50 split. That would be the ultimate goal for me. Um, but ultimately, I'm looking to just grow the, the Australian side of things before I then grow the UK. Um, and the reason for that is, and, and when that day happens, I know it's going to make a lot of people mad. Uh, wh however I decide to do it, I have my ideas, but I'm not sold on it yet. That people will be like, ah, oh, but now you're just focusing on the UK or now mm. you're, you know, you've grown on the Australian scene and now it's all about making a name for yourself in the UK. <laughs> I'm just going to say it from early now and somebody can clip this and share it to me in 2025. <laughs> Feel free to. My goal at the moment, and maybe this will change, my goal at the moment is to do this. Keep growing the Aussie fan base. Get to the point where 
I have access to as many people and as many resources in Australia. And then triple down, quadruple down at the right time to then push as many of those Aussies over to the UK and push as many UK's uh, Brits over to Australia and just have people just work with each other. In some ways, what some of these uh, Instagram pages are doing, what certain artists mm. like Chilling It are trying to do, bridge the two between each other. The problem is I haven't got the reach that Chilling It has, so I'm not going to try and do that yet. But when the time's right, I want to be able to go, look, so-and-so artist from the UK, so-and-so artist from Australia, boom, I want you to work with each other, make the connection there. And I want to be able to make the connection between the two, but I understand that I don't have that level of power yet. I understand I don't have that respect yet. And somebody, you've got to remember, I've only been doing this just under two years. By the time this is out, probably two years by now. <laughs> I'm looking, I might not make that move until I'm 10 years deep. Mm. And so, so I, I get a lot of angry comments uh, or questions even about why haven't you done this and why don't you do that? And I just understand patience is a big thing because people who have been about following this scene for 15, 20 years, you know, um, are uh, perhaps able to do things like that. I have not been around for that long. Mm. And just because I'm new and popping doesn't give me equity to just make all of these moves i've not experienced enough i've got to live with this for a bit i've got to live with this scene for a while and understand it more i've got so much to learn before i can ever say i know enough to be able to start doing things like that mm. like from a cultural perspective of course i understand the uk scene i need to understand the australian scene from a cultural perspective and then understand the technical side of how we go about doing these things because maybe i need a team to do it maybe i can't do it alone maybe i need to find the right people along the way to do that with um and so the last thing i'll say on it is i don't want to be the only one doing this i don't want to be the only one doing this the reason i do a podcast and reactions and album reviews and artist breakdowns is because i want to see it and i don't see enough of it, of it yeah. and so i've done the reactions and i'm seeing more and more people do aussie reactions now cool that's good so that's off my checklist and i've said it by 20 i, I don't know why i think i said it because in five years in 2018 i said in five years time so 2023 i will not be doing reactions i'll be involved in the scene some way shape or form but I will not be doing reactions. So however mm. that is, we'll get there. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. But I don't want to be known as a reaction guy. I just want to be known as Chazza, who's just trying to help out as many people as possible. And for anyone who says, ah, oh, but you're not helping someone out when you criticize their work or when you say you don't like it. I'm not going to pretend to like something that I don't. I'm going to be honest. So if I like your stuff, know that I truly and honestly do like it. And just, yeah, ultimately, I just want to share good music, promote positive people, the, the people who are in it, you know, that um, uh, have the right intentions, you know. Mm. Um, I'm sure people know this even better than me. There are some arseholes in this game. There, <laughs> there are some greedy people in the, in the behind the scenes. And I think that's only going to become... Uh, a bigger thing as time goes on as the Oz scene becomes more heavily monetized as people are uh, able to make money a lot easier I think that's going to become more and more of a thing so I'm just trying to find as many genuine true honest people as I can early on um, and just look to just promote that as much as possible um, which this whole speech may sound cliche or corny or cheesy or whatever but honestly that's just what I mean ultimately to put it in a sentence yeah I just want to promote the right things and do it with the right people the, 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 the last